Hello everyone and welcome back to the doctor's garage. So you might have seen in my very recent video I put here on the channel, I have just fitted my new tan Lucari seats as you can see here, I'm sat in them right now in my Defender 90. And in this video I wanted to cover a little bit more about some of the commonly asked questions about these seats, about these styler seats, and also just my review really of having had them for about a week and a half now probably, been driving around with Defender with them. What do I think? Would I buy them again? Was there anything I regret about the decision of fitting them? And just anything else really that I feel would be important if you're thinking of grading the seating in your Defender and thinking about spending the money on something like bucket seats. Now seating is probably one of the most talked about and disputed topics within the Defender world because a lot of people have a lot of opinions about what should be in a Defender. Should you have standard seats? Should you still keep them Land Rover? Should you go for a style of seat that is more classic, more in keeping with the vehicle potentially. Certainly not a race bucket seat. There are others that prefer these type of seating. I know a lot of people that um, the build defenders do think these do suit a defender quite well. And for me, I spent a lot of months and years deciding what I liked. Uh, I tried quite a lot of different seating options. And so for me, this was my ultimate choice. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about why I think they are the perfect seat for a defender. So I think for me, when you're deciding on seating for your Defender, there's a couple of options. You can keep it really stock, very original. You can keep a non-original seat, so an aftermarket seat, but still keep an original style. Or you can go completely different, like I have, with a seat that is not original from a color point of view, not original from a shape or style point of view too. Now I spent a lot of months and years deciding on the type and style of seat that I wanted after seeing loads of different defenders at the shows and online on Instagram, YouTube, and kind of making my mind up about what I felt would look best for my particular defender. And I think with the defender world, it's so great because there are so many different varieties and expression and options that people can, can do with their defenders. They can look very heritage, very original. You've got cars that look much more modern. And, and the great thing is people have the ability to create what they feel suits them, what they like. And for me, my car is very much an expression of what I think a Defender looks best like. And I agree and know that that is not everyone's cup of tea. People all have a different way of viewing things. People have a different opinion about it. And some people hate this car. Some people love this car. But that's how it is. And to be honest, that's what makes the whole world of Land Rover and Defender ownership so great because you have that huge variety and spectrum of different types of vehicles according to what people think they should be like. So for me, I knew I didn't want a standard Land Rover style seat. I tried the original Land Rover seats. They're terrible. I had some aftermarket ones in my Defender when I when I bought this car. You've probably seen them, the old Exmoor trim seats that I had. And again, I've never been in love with them since I bought the car. I always said on these videos, whenever I did any, and for those that follow the channel will know, they weren't a seat I particularly liked the style of. They had a Land Rover printed all through them, which I think was pretty terrible in general. Um, and I just didn't really feel they fit, felt, didn't really feel they fitted my Defender well. So I firstly wanted a seat that was a little bit different. I wanted tan. Tan was really important to me to get um, because of the colour of my Defender. It's a Keswick green Defender, and I think Keswick or any of the greens actually with tan is a really, really nice contrast, a really nice a combo. So for me, I was I was dead set on that. And so then I started looking at all the range of seats out there. There's a lot of manufacturers that make seats. Um, Lucari, for me, have always stood out. Um, they are expensive seats, I know that, but they are also known for being well put together, well built. They just do things well, like ORE, Optimil, Lucari now. They are all, I think, the best of what they do. And so I kind of spend time looking and deciding on uh, manufacturers that I think really put a lot of passion behind what they do and actually create products that are really, really brilliant. And I would much rather spend a little bit more on something that was going to last me for the time that I have the vehicle rather than something that's going to you know, not last very long. And a good example of that is the ORE stuff. You buy metal coated stuff from pretty much anywhere else. And what you'll find is within a year you'll start getting flaking corrosion you don't get that with ore and so for me it's worth spending that a bit more money to get parts that really last and for me lucari i had seen their products online i'd been to shows and seen them and i was pretty sure they were going to be good and when i got them delivered you'll see on the last video they're brilliant the quality of them is absolutely amazing for me it's very similar to the quality that you get in like a 70 80 grand car that you might buy from a new manufacturer with good leather seats it's the same quality as that so you really do get a very premium feel from the seats and you don't feel that they're too much when you actually get hold of them and fit them to your defender 
So one thing for me really was that I knew I was going down the Lucari option. And Lucari have a whole range, again, of, of, of very traditional style seats to much more modern bucket seats, right through to like Recaro's, which were obviously a race style seat. And I, I've always liked race seats in a Defender, just from the aesthetic, from the look of them. I like the way they look in the Defender. They are very contrasting with the obviously the sort of farm look of the vehicle. But for me, I've really enjoyed the challenge of being able to put together a more modern look, a more sporty look within an original farm built vehicle. And you'll probably see if you know this channel, that's kind of what I've done with the parts on this car. My car doesn't really do that much off roading. I don't really go off road in it. I'm not particularly um, excited by that. And I know that will disappoint people that watch this channel, but I've been off road a few times, but it, as a day to day car, I use this to go into work in. I use it to commute in. It mainly stays on the road 95% of its life. Um, Maybe I will go off-road and it may be a great video seeing me try to do a bit of off-roading. But for me, and my style, for my Defender, I look after my Defender. It's something I spend a lot of time building, putting time to, to get it to where it is. I'd hate to that be trashed off-road. So that's my personal opinion, again, about how I feel Defender ownership is. This car is not a workhorse in the same way that other Defenders probably are. It's very much a road-going Defender. And actually, with the price of Defenders where they are at the moment and the way they're heading, it would be, some might say, foolish to trash this car and take it off-road when the value of these things is just climbing and climbing and climbing, and they're actually becoming more of an investment asset rather than they are... Um, a vehicle that you want to trash off-road. So for me, bucket seats were a choice I went with. And actually since having them in the last probably week that I've owned them, I've found have a lot more benefits than you might think in a Defender. So in a Defender, what you find, and particularly when you've got standard springs and shocks, which I used to have in this car, I now have all of the a live setup, so I've got um, Fox shocks and the Alive springs in my car and the IBAC anti-roll bar from Alive tuning as well. That's made a big difference to the ride quality, the way it doesn't wallow quite as much and sort of float around like a boat like it used to. But you still roll around in the seats quite a lot in a Defender because you're quite high as a high centre of gravity. And so having bucket seats, I've found in the last week, gives you so much more confidence when driving the car. It holds you in the seat so much better. And although that's the idea of a race seat, you don't think that's going to apply to a Defender. But it actually makes for a better drive because you're so much more supported within your seat. So for me, I've found it actually is a really good fit for a Defender because of how much you do move around inside the Defender while you're driving it. So that's one of the reasons I think bucket seats work quite well in a Defender. I also think as well, you've got quite a large cabin space in a Defender and actually bucket seats fill it really well. These seats just touch onto my, well, just about touch actually, a centimetre off my side panelling here, the new Maasai trims that I've put in my Defender. And so for me, they feel like the perfect perfect fit from a width point of view but also support in a Defender they're brilliant I've also got the Lucari High Cubby as well and that was something I wanted to do because the cubby boxes in Defenders as standard are way too short your arms right down here the High Cubby makes it so much more comfortable when you're driving to be able to, to feel, feel the gear stick and just to rest your arm somewhere basically I've now got my powerful UK door trims which do give a little arm rest on this side and I've got an arm rest on this side now so it's a way more comfortable driving position day to day in my Defender I think one of the massive upgrades for me, one of the biggest things was heated seats. I knew I wanted heated seats in my Defender because although now it's like 20 degrees, it's fine, it's comfortable. In the winter, these cars get really cold and the heating in a TD5, I'm not sure about a Puma, but a TD5 takes ages to warm up. It's so, so long that most of the time you're just freezing by the time you even get to where you're going. So having heated seats, I'm looking forward to trying them and seeing how that works. So I wanted the heating seat element. I actually wanted the aftermarket heating seat element, and that was because you've got a two-stage heater in it, and that means that you can get to heat much quicker. They're meant to be hotter than the standard original Land Rover um, heaters. So I've got the aftermarket heating system, and I fitted that into the cup holder, which you might have seen on my previous video, which is quite a neat job. Quite happy with that, and I think it looks quite factory, actually, as far as the normal things that I do on my Defender goes. Let me just show you a little quick tour around my Defender so you can get an idea about the seats, how they fit in the car, how they feel in the car, for those that haven't seen the previous video, for example, I'll give you a tour just so you know what I'm talking about. So as you can see, my Defender is Keswick Green. I think this contrast just works really, really well for me. I think it's the perfect colorway, gloss black, Keswick to the tan. So these are my seats in, in place. Um, absolutely love them. You can see the quality of the stitching, the way they're put together is just absolutely brilliant. Um, like I say, you wouldn't know this any different to a manufacturer of like a, a 70, 80K car if you'd bought one. So for me, they're, 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 from a quality point of view, you couldn't go 
couldn't go wrong with Lucari. Um, Cubby as well, really nice put together. These match, you see you've got the stripe through here and also through there, which is quite nice. And the whole Cubby system with a little click just works so well and it feels so much more premium than my previous cubby was so this is how they fit in the defender you can see here from a width point of view they're just about on the outside there of my um of my trims and when they come forward it's great because they don't actually touch anything in the rear they don't touch that cut bulk head i've done at all so they're just sort of free in the back which is quite nice because i was always worried about these seats rubbing on something and that little bit i was talking about with the heated seats is just down here and you can see i've got the heat element fitted so you've got if i put the ignition on because i've wired it up the ignition now so you've got the second heater stage so that's the hottest setting and then bottom is the green which is the the cooler heating stage so got two heating stages there this is my right seat this is for my left that works really well and i think looks quite nice looks quite factory in my defender so that's how they fit in my defender that's what they that's what they look like really pleased with the way they look and also this may or may not be important to some people but also just the way they look in the car themselves they do fit the um, fit the car very well when you're looking i do have some tints on these windows so you can't see them that well but let's say go in this side and have a look i just think as far as seats go i'm absolutely in love with these i think they're absolutely brilliant the other thing you get on the on the Lucari seats is this little bit of an extension through here, which does just help your legs be supported a bit longer, makes them a bit more comfortable. So for me, my Lucari seats, there's certain things that I wish I'd probably done a little bit differently, but for one reason or another, I didn't. And one of the things is to not get a tip-up base. So Lucari do a tip-up base, which means you can take the floor of the seat out without having to take the whole seat out to be able to get under the um, under the seats themselves. So for example, in the passenger side, that's particularly important because your battery's there and your jack is sometimes there as well. So for me, I didn't get the tip-up base. It's another two or 300 pounds. And with the seats being as much as they are already, I didn't decide to go for that. In hindsight, maybe I should have just spent that a little bit more and got that because already once i've had to get into the battery uh, to do something to change some wiring or something and it's a real pain to get the whole seat out to do that so that's one thing probably i would change apart from that really i'm super happy with the choice that i made um they feel great they look great they drive really well with, with me in the car so for me i think i wouldn't choose anything different again i would highly recommend lucari for seating options i think um the service from them really but also just the quality of the product has been brilliant so very very happy with that and i hope for you guys that are watching this that's been a sort of useful summary as to my decision for going for these seats and maybe a little bit more of an in-depth chat around them answering some of those questions that probably you had that you asked me on the last video so do let me know if you've got any more questions about the seats and let me know if you've got anything else that you feel might help other people that are looking for seats for their defender let me know in the comments below and um, i do read every single comment completely i do try and answer them all as well but i know also people find them useful just as an area of resource if they're looking for something similar so thanks for watching the video and i'll see you guys in the next one